At a Juneteenth celebration in Willowbrook, Illinois, one dead, 22 injured. At a party in St. Louis, Missouri, one dead, nine injured, all teenagers. All those attending will carry with them the scars, physical and mental, from the gun violence that tore into their lives. A music festival in Washington, a nightclub in Georgia, a house party in California, more than a dozen mass shootings, nearly 100 people injured. And that was just this weekend. Let me be clear. We will not tolerate such acts of violence in our community. So far this year, more than 800 children and teenagers have been killed by guns, which includes homicides and suicides. And it's part of a startling trend. Looking at CDC data, a new report this month by the Johns Hopkins Center for Gun Violence Solutions found 2021 set a record for the most deaths ever, nearly 49,000. What is your reaction to seeing this continuously play out? Unfortunately, we see mass shootings every day in America, um, so it's not, it's not surprising. Josh Horowitz is the center's co-director and says states and the federal government need to redouble their efforts to stop gun violence. We also think that limiting access to firearms in public is important. And of course, investing in community violence intervention programs will pay dividends and save lives. Elise Preston, CBS News.